Hi there, my name is Father Mark Bosco, and I'm the Vice President here at Georgetown University. It's my turn to do another inspirational uh, moment with our campus ministry team, uh, this spiritual continuity that we're trying to do. It's obviously been a, a difficult time for everybody, and we're filled with so many anxieties, uh, not only the pandemic, but the uh, racial injustice uh, that is going on and that is being uh, protested. Um, we have an election coming up. We have places reopening after uh, being isolated and closed down. So there's a lot going on. Um, I just thought I'd maybe share with you what I've been praying and what I've been doing this whole summer, uh, the last couple months. I just keep on trying to pray every morning and every night by breathing in gratitude, just grateful that I am alive, that God loves me, that I am part of the world and can be engaged in it, that gratitude for my talents, for all those things that I can bring uh, to the world, bring to my brothers and sisters, uh, gratitude for, for being able to listen to the signs of the times. So I breathe in gratitude and I try to exhale generosity, I try to spend just a, lots of deep breaths of gratitude and just trying to um, a, a, a exhale a generous heart, a generous mind, a, a generous sense of the world, a, a generosity for me to give back to God. I want to end just with a, a short little poem prayer written by a Benedictine monk who's a friend of mine, and uh, it's called Corona Time. Uh, obviously, it's for the, the COVID-19. Um, and he wrote this in uh, mid-May. Uh, and I just think it's a nice kind of way to end uh, an inspirational moment. It's called Corona Time by Father Jared Garrigan. In the year of our Lord 2020, for reasons to us unknown, with the same hand with which he'd separated heaven from earth, day from night, sea from land, the same hand with which he'd fashioned man from loam, for reasons still unknown. The one from whom all things do come and to whom all return, with that self-same and mighty hand did choose to press the pause button and life as we've known it stopped. But as God is good and his goodness alone, alone has no end. He will at a time we do not know, God knows, will with all powerful and steady hand press that button labeled play. And oh, we will play and play and play. And God will see that it is good. So very, very good. And we will see that it is good. So very, very good. So in this time of God seeming to pause, our usual routines, God seeming to pause even our sense of complacency around race and, and social justice, God giving us a pause uh, to re, uh, regroup and to kind of recognize who we are. I think we're gonna have some great times of play ahead. So I'm hoping that as we move into the summer and we move into the fall, we might see this time of uh, return as a time of um, adventure time of play, a time of joy, in the midst of all the distress and in the midst of all the anxiety. Take care.